Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today's topic is resetting your iPad. It can be a, either a soft reset or a hard reset of your settings. So I will go, walk through the different options you have for resetting your iPad. First of all, as I always mention in my videos here, is that it is always a good idea to reboot, restart your device if you are having a res uh, unresponsive screen, uh, it is either slow or not responding at all, then a reboot or a restart of your device is always a good idea to start out with. Just simply holding down the power button and you will be able to slide and do a power of your device. Another thing you can do is a soft reset of your device. It will clear the memory, it will clear all the good things uh, inside your hardware. So it will have a fresh start of your device. And how you do that is by uh, clicking the up and the down volume and pushing down the power button and hold it for a few seconds. After that, it will turn black after a while and it will, oh, automatically uh, show you the apple sign and after a few seconds again it will show you a login screen or the home screen of your ipad so let's just wait a few seconds for that here we are and again i will be able to log into my ipad so that's the soft reset that is a good idea if you have an unresponsive screen uh, just do a soft reset. If you have a home button at, uh, because you have another version of the iPad, uh, then the soft reset of your iPad is holding down the home button and the power button at the same time. And after five to 10 seconds, it will do the exact same thing as you just saw here. So the next thing is to have a look at the settings and the different options of resetting your iPad. And if you go into settings and find the general section and you will scroll down to the button and down here, you have a transfer and reset iPad. So in here you have the reset options and you have six different options to reset. The first one, reset all settings. It will reset everything on your iPad. It will uh, get rid of all your network settings, all your keyboard, keyboard directory, your home screen layout, and your uh, location and privacy settings. So everything will be more or less erased, except for all the content you have. So all your pictures, your music you have on your iPad or whatever will not be erased. So it will only be the settings that will be erased. So the first one, all settings, and you just click that one, uh, enter your passcode and it will start resetting your iPad. So the next one you can do is reset network settings. And network settings is of course your Wi-Fi settings, your VPN settings, your data roaming settings uh, on your iPad and things like that. So if you have an issue with your Wi-Fi and you will also be able to see some of my other videos about uh, Wi-Fi problems on an iPad, then I always recommend to do a reset of the network settings. So doing a network settings reset is clearing off the Wi-Fi and all the things around the Wi-Fi settings. Subscribers services is not really one I would talk that much about is getting rid of those. Then we have the reset keyboard directory. Keyboard directory is the one where you have your keyboard and you add uh, your own words to your directory. So if you want to some for some reason get rid of all your own added words to your directory, then you can do a reset of the keyboard. If you have keyboard issues, if it's not showing up as expected or your keyboard is slow when you type on it or something like that, then my recommendation would also be to do a 
reset of the keyboard directory. Next thing up is a reset of the home screen layout. Home screen layout means that it will actually just revert all the built-in apps to the original layout of your home screen. So it will take all your default apps and put them back to where they were when you started up your iPad the first time you got it. Last one is also one of my favorite, reset of the location, sir, uh, location and privacy. This is where you have set up different options or different configuration for the location service. You have ticked off that the location service is allowed for some apps and also regarding your privacy things uh, where you have ticked off that some apps are not allowed to use your microphone or your network or whatever uh, settings you can do for the privacy. It will revert all the the settings back to default and the, the way they were when you started out your iPad. And that can sometimes be a good idea to do if you have kind of messed up with some of your apps and some of your apps are not allowed to use your microphone or your local network or whatever, then a, doing a reset of those settings is a good idea just to uh, get back to where it was at the starting point. So these are the options you can do for re uh, resetting different settings and options on your iPad. I hope that it gave you an overview of what is actually possible to reset on your iPad. Uh, one last thing I would of course uh, also talk about is the last one down here. Erase all content and settings. So this is the one where you erase everything, even the content, your pictures, your music, whatever, everything is erased from your iPad. This is the one I recommend using when you need, either you hand over your iPad to somebody else who should start using it, or if you sell your iPad to somebody else, then of course always do a reset of all the content and the settings so they will not be able to see your private pictures and use your local Wi-Fi. So uh, I hope this uh, gave you some ideas about how to work with reset and doing different options for that on your iPad. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, do a subscribe, I really like that. And if you have any comments or anything you would like to ask about this video, then put it in the comments section. Thank you so much and see you soon.